With the announcement of the Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door remake coming to Nintendo Switch, safe to say that the game has ignited a lot of <laughs> zeal amongst some select fans. I can't say I blame them though. I was pretty stunned just seeing the book when the trailer opened up, and I imagine everyone else with some attachment to TT felt the same. The trailer itself does also give us a look into what we can expect for when the game releases. Not only an elements of gameplay, but also some visual enhancements over the original. This video serves the purpose of showing some of what I found, and you're more than free to do the same, especially since it's very possible I could be wrong on some things, and it's plenty possible some of what we saw in the trailer will be changed when the game is released. The first thing to notice is that the game's graphics are significantly more vivid and paper-like, with many past details still being present like the pipe on the far right of the screen. Since this game will be made with widescreen in mind, however, we can also see the back of Mario's house, much like how it appears in Paper Mario on the Nintendo 64. You actually can't see this on the GameCube, not because of the aspect ratio, because when using widescreen hacks, the back of the house actually doesn't exist. Funny enough, the mailbox in the remake is missing a slot to insert mail through, so it seems both versions of the game currently have something missing. The trees and bushes have layers on the leaves now, as opposed to being flat, and the sun's rays are even visible now. It all honestly looks beautiful. As we enter Mario's house, we can see more clearly just how much more advanced the graphics look as well as the extra attention to detail. You'll notice there's a framed picture of all of Mario's partners back from the original Paper Mario, which was absent in the original but present in the sequel, Super Paper Mario. There are other minor details, like the polished floor showing reflections and a very faint white outline of the characters showing that the paper aesthetic is still plenty present in this game, but in a way that's significantly less distracting. You can more easily see it on Shadow Mario as he appears in Chapter 4. Notable characters also speak with unique voice grunts instead of just a single uniform text sound. Which doesn't sound too dissimilar from games like Banjo Kazooie. Or if you're familiar with indie games, Buck Fables. Looking at the characters and movement, the robbles that appear in the cutscene to introduce Goombella are present before Tolsworth appears. Which honestly may be for the best, see that they basically just appear out of thin air in the original. Goombella also mentions explicitly being a junior at the University of Goom when she originally was just cited as a student. Other dialogue changes also exist, like for example Bowser calling Kami Koopa a lunkhead as opposed to an airhead. Both Mario and his partner now feature their own back sprites when moving towards the background, when previously only Mario would back sprites. And if Goombella is any sign, the partners also have new animations for jumping, too, now having a sprite both for ascending and descending as opposed to a single jumping sprite. In case you're wondering, Bowser has also turned up a back sprite. It's no longer just Mario and Peach. It also seems like new characters will be added to the remake, seeing this purple toad on the left of Mario as he's spin jumping on a switch. A star piece can also be spotted underneath the poster of Rock Hawk, but like in the original, its brightness doesn't flicker. This could well be because it's in the shade though, but I figured I'd mention it. Surrounding battles, I notice that now Goomba's rear their heads towards Mario before charging at him, and Mario's sprite takes a fighting stance when contact is made, most likely seeing Paper Mario's sticker star. We also see a red question mark block, which may very well be confirmation that badges are returning. Which is great to see, because badges make up a large part of what makes Paper Mario so enjoyable to play. When the battle begins, we now see the audience rush in from the sides, as opposed to running over their seats to watch the battle take place. Which makes a lot more sense when you consider how people in a theater take their seats to sit down. However, we also see the HUD, and on it, Mario's partner HP is no longer below his own, but on the right. On the bottom of the screen, we also see a plus button icon next to what says Title Check. It's likely Goombella will still be the only partner who can title in battle, but it may be possible to check enemy titles mid-battle instead of needing to check the journal to access the title log. It would be a rather nice quality of life feature to be added to the game. At your command as Mario was attacking do reflect well how the actions look in the original down to the blue knights appearing when successful. But when the enemy attacks, Mario is shown super guarding the Goomba's head bonk with the text now saying a purple super guard instead of great. This is ultimately a minor cosmetic detail, but I personally would have probably preferred if they had either kept the text the same, or even pay a little more homage to Paper Mario on N64 and make the text super. It's worth also acknowledging that bingos are still in the game, as the roulette in the top right was signal. 
in the blooper boss fight, we see the ink attack hit both Mario and Goombella with the attack connecting the instant the ink hits the ground, as opposed to slightly after. The stage props falling on the pale piranhas also show that the damage is applied before the props make contact with the floor, before crushing all four of the enemies. So, safe to say, some action commands may have different visual cues from when the guard. Action commands also have more elements on the UI to signal how full the meter must be to be successful, which will most definitely make determining how full the meter must be to add either more power or more individual hits easier. I estimate that exceeding the arrow is all that will be necessary to count a successful action command. But the more full, the better. We later see the B-list star stage as Yoshi is riding a stampede. You may have noticed that there are now four fogger machines on the stage, when in the original game, there were only three. This is the first sign that there well may be gameplay differences that will make the remake play differently from the original. As where the foggers are pointed, how many are pointing at a certain direction, and the element they're spraying out will have varying damage and or status element duration. Some cutscenes also seem to be altered. The Thousand Year Door cutscene is the camera circle around the player much faster than the original. We see Mario's partners with him, all of them, in the blimp on their first trip towards Glitzville. And curses now show Mario struck by lightning, as opposed to white flashes showing the curse we cast on him. This is likely to be less strenuous than people who suffer from epilepsy. Characters in general also appear much more expressive as well during cutscenes. Koopy Koo looks visibly despondent seeing Koo's reject their warnings. Both Mario and his partner now show much more emotion when seeing a Twilight transform into a pig before their eyes. And many more sprites have also been added to other minor character specific situations that they happen in the story as we see in XX Express. I know there's likely plenty of other stuff to touch on, but I want to leave the door open for discussion. Is there anything in the remake you'd like to see be revealed later on? What would you change? What has you the most hyped? Let's get a discussion going in the comments down below, and feel free to check out my other videos if you found this interesting. I upload a lot of challenge videos for Paper Mario, and though I don't own a Switch, I'm really excited for those who do own one and want to be able to play this game for themselves, whether for the first time ever, or even if you're just a fan of the original gameplay and wanted to see a return to form. Thanks for watching.